Hey, hello everyone, Tanak here. Welcome to episode 27 of Building My Industrial Empire in EVE Online. So, uh, let's start with the usual progress report. Uh, as you can see, my personal net worth is uh, 12.8 billion. My the company net worth is 13.4 billion. A grand total of uh, 26.4 as some of you will see if you add this one and this one it doesn't add up you got add my personal and the company and i'll explain that in a little bit uh, the, to the total should be good and if you look at the graph here you can see that while i did progress this week or we did progress this week because part of that is not mine uh, it uh, we the progress slowed and why is that well as you can see here there's a little war here going on so it is uh, putting a little dent or it is slowing down our our operation so uh people were saying that they were tired of station video so i'm here with my little stealth bomber and watching one of our Atenor that is in reinforcement actually. Uh, so what else? Okay, well I'll I'll still do the usual format. So just to keep just to keep uh, the standard, we'll start with HR. So the corp right now has a total of seventy four members. Uh, again, people logging in regularly uh so we don't have any we don't have any login problem as people are still logging in but but because of the war uh people are not as often or as long online uh and well i'll explain you, you'll when we get to the war part you'll understand everything uh aside from that from our un industrial operation we did sell an orca last week uh, so the cash flow problem that we had is pretty much okay for now so we got like at least a billion liquid isk so no problem from that side uh, we do have the network is growing because most of our network is in our infrastructure right now uh, what else we sold three saber we got four more ready to sell uh, we are building a charon and uh, we started doing some mining fleet in low sec uh, we have access to mine a really good moon so that was that was like really profitable uh, last week what else is that's that's about it for the industrial operation now for the war part i it is very compl complex to explain because a lot of stuff happened this week so i used my super powerpoint presentation skill to explain what is going on so this is me and guns are us toy company who settled in Ivanji and built two structure first our atenor industrial wisdom and then the sweatshop which is our right arrow who else inhabitate the system okay well pen is out as a strong presence because they have one at the north and they own five poco well i have a strong presence structure wise but we don't see them often in system and we we don't really fight pen is out and they don't shoot at our structure and we don't obviously we're not crazy enough to attack them so for now we, we have mostly uh, we both ignore each other and uh, that, that's a pretty good uh, pretty good relationship that we have I would like to buy their Atenor if they're eventually selling but they they, they don't answer my uh, my mail anyway uh, the week in the, sc the scrawny the sc uh, the scrawny I forgot an R there uh, they uh they attacked all the little independent poco and consolidated them last week so beginning and beginning of this week so they now own four poco those poco were 
after that one poco from pen is out and one from the weekend the scrawny uh, got put into reinforcement by another corp that i will talk about later but and i usually don't mention corp but you cannot make sense of this mess without <laughs> without mentioning corp so anyway they they own four poco who else has presence in the system Boon Swarm has uh, two Hostra House there, uh, Mao Station and Keeper of Ivanji. I don't know why they maintain two, but they, whatever. We just stay as far from that as possible and don't try not to, not to antagonize them. And then you had the Storm Fury Syndicate, which had one Atenor. I say add because you will get to that. And Mobile Sales Deluxe, who has another Atenor. So that's all of the station and structure in Ivanji right now. And you also have the usual suspect, Revolution, which uh, I can't say we're on really good term with them, but maybe that changed anyway. They they actually attack everybody. They they just shoot everybody. They, they, they like to pew pew and they pew pew with everybody that's coming their way. And you got the bakery who uh, who is another PvP corp that is uh, often present in the system. They don't look alive with Revolution. They shoot at each other from what I've understood. And they sometimes shoot at the same target. So these two groups just seem to do their own thing and sometimes they collide. So that's the major player in the system. Obviously, there's a lot of other player, and I'm not mentioning all the Guns R Us ally in there. Uh, shout out to you guys, but I mean, I would have enough space on the presentation. I'll do one with just the R allies at some point. Uh, what happened? Well, the week started, I told you last episode that I wanted to buy, uh, consolidate, and expand our holding. So... The Storm Furry Syndicate agreed to sell us their Atenor. So we renamed that Drill Baby Drill because it's a moon drill. And we now have tree structure in system. That was on Saturday. Sunday, Black Flag declare war on us. How do you answer a war from a obviously strong pvp group that focus on pvp when you're an industrial corp well you turn tail and run away so we created the guns R us procurement division under my trusty erica mcboobies who's the ceo of that corp and we started transferring the civilian into that corp uh, so uh, there are not that many that have transferred yet because uh, we had to remove roles, so it's taking some time, and that explains our no low number during the week. But the idea is that the procurement division doesn't have any structure, so it cannot be decked. So our miner with that setup, we have the combat character in the Gonzalez Toy Company, and we have the the miner going in the procurement division. Eventually, depending on how the war ends and how far we are in the transfer, it might become easier to just transfer the structure to the procurement division. So we're not sure how what the final setup would be, but the idea is to have one corp where, with the structure and the combat character and another corp with the Care Bear miners, the hauler, and that cannot be decked. So we can our economy can still run even when we're at war. And that would explain that during this war so far, Black Flag has killed three, uh, has scored three kill. And I'll show you what they are. They, they're clubbing baby seal. <laughs> but hey, stuff happened. Uh, we're not strong enough. But even our fighter, I mean, we, we can defend our structure against them, I think. Uh, and And attacking a structure and then committing force at a specific time is not the same as shooting uh, people that that are unaware and as soon as the war started we move all our structure timer to the to the time where they were least present according to the kill board uh so what else uh, so that that was going on and most of this week 
it was I would say uh, Sitzkrieg uh, us waiting patiently for Black Flag to to get tired of of this war so we're waiting the war out not engaging them and basically denying them kill by just not being there when they arrive uh, what else okay then today was a real mess and that you will see revolution uh no not revolution first snuffed out showed up in the system one guy with a revelation put drill baby drill in reinforcement and then revolution started shooting at the sweatshop uh, at that point we're kind of feeling that we were <laughs> getting ganged on a little bit but uh, yeah. I mean, that is to be expected so anyway revolution started shooting at the sweatshop but it wasn't like a, a real committed attack they shoot a little bit and then we had a, a person started shooting back with the, with the structure uh, and and most of our structure have, have defense now because when we got the declaration of war we, we max defense on all our structure so when we started shooting back and another guy log i think they were just they were just trying to see if we, if we were there so when they noticed that we were starting to shoot back and it wasn't a big attack force so anyway they, sh they shoot at us we repel that attack or they will we didn't really repel it we didn't kill anybody and they, they just stopped shooting before putting it into reinforcement and then you had another group blingdenstone blingdenstone uh initially was a corp that we were on friendly term with but uh, at some point there were there were uh, disagreement between our our member and what they wanted our member to do for the well they basically are feeling and ask them if you don't if you want to see their style their side of the story but our feeling was there they were trying to basically use our member as mining bot and we didn't like it so we kind of have a uh, we, let's say that we're not on really friendly term but they were never openly hostile until today where they had a Megatron that started to shoot at the sweatshop and left before he had the time because revolution shut it down so thank you comrade I owe you a beer <laughs> so I actually sent a, a, a thank you email to the revolution guy and with the with a nice kill on the kill board so thank you and then the guy from stuff now stuffed out snuffed out that put our station in reinforcement sent me an offer to buy it oh, okay cool i cannot sell a structure when i'm in war and when you put it in reinforcement so kind even if i wanted to i can't really sell it right now so if you want to negotiate a buying of a structure might not want to put it in reinforcement before so that's what happened today uh, and then we'll go with the face of this war you see those brave brave soldier from black flag two cinnabol to shoot little stevie here with his newbie ship civilian miner So guys, if you want to donate to the Guns R Us War Orphan Fund, send money to Guns R Us. We'll make sure it's put to good use. <laughs> no, actually, they, that, that's just kidding because uh, yeah, we that, that that's okay. <laughs> We're at war. Shoot anybody you can. Uh, but they didn't shoot that many. Uh, they got they got basically. Uh, one lone miner two two combat ship that didn't expect it and they, they they're stronger than us i mean uh, there's no point in arguing about that so they're i get i don't know if they got paid by somebody else that is actually shooting at us now or not i don't know if it's, if it's a contract uh, also uh 
as soon as they attacked us, the war was declared. Within hours, I had an offer of somebody that wanted me to join their alliance. And they were saying that maybe they just noticed that we were declared war on Black Flag and maybe they could talk with them to see because they know them and everything. I'm not even going to mention the guy here. But if you're using the fact that I'm in war to try and make me join your alliance, well, you can uh, go lubricate my Eteron Mark V with your saliva. <laughs> so that's how I feel about it. <laughs> uh, anything else? Uh, the procurement division. So what, what I was saying first here, uh, the reason uh, it doesn't add up is now I got to take, keep track of two character and two to corp, uh, so uh, but that that's that's how we make ourselves uh, war deck proof in the future. Uh, Tanak is actually training with stealth bomber, and uh, and he w I'm training Tanak to be more of a fighter for the time being because i need that uh, i need a at least one strong combat character for the war and uh, i did purchase uh, a multiple training certificate for my for erica mcboobie who to to have her also start training uh, i figure that uh, two character isn't uh, isn't a luxury when you got to manage two corp having two character that you train might be useful and the idea also is to have because i would say that the most impact that we have so far well we did have an impact on the corp because people can't log in as much and by the time we it's going to take us like probably a few days before we can transfer all the miner into an undeckable corp uh, but uh, the other impact that is significant for me is I cannot do incursion when I, when I'm war decked. So I am training my other character uh, to rush her to become uh, an incursion pilot also. Uh, that way, uh, no matter which corp end up, because I want to keep Tanak in the flagship company uh, with the fighter. So I want to have like a, a character that I can run incursion with, uh, even if the main company is war decked. So that's about our setup this week. What can you expect next week? Well, we'll see. Honestly, with that structure in reinforcement, I have no clue what's going to happen tomorrow. Evangier on Saturday can get bloody. Really, really bloody. <laughs> you usually have revolution shooting at people, bakery shooting at people, uh, Faction warfare people coming in and out shooting at stuff. Uh, will the group, will the person that attack our structure that is trying to buy it stop shooting because he wants to buy it? I did offer him to use it. As, I mean, if you want a structure, use ours. I'll let you use it and you don't even have to pay for fuel. But uh, I don't know. We, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happened. Will he show up with a larger force? Will I get the cavalry charge at the last minute if somebody commit dreadnought to that structure? I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue. So I'm not asking anybody to risk anything to come and defend it. We are, as a corp, of course, going to stack as many people as we can to try and defend it just in case or to have people to have a strong presence in system we can we can field a good amount of combat people when we know in advance right now so we and we even though we look like an industrial corp a lot of, we have a lot of people that are alts that are second character or that are character that that are trained in combat but just want to try another aspect of eve so We'll see what happens tomorrow. If there's a an interesting battle, I will I will maybe make a video a, pro, uh, a battle report like I did the last time our structure was under attack. 
if it's a big nothing nothing burger well, i won't make a video for that uh and if it's a, just a small battle i may i might I'll, I'll try and film whatever happened anyway and you either will get it tomorrow if it's something really interesting or you will get it uh, next uh, at the next update uh, if it's uh, something boring uh, hopefully the war with back black flag will end uh, i am not gonna pay for the war to end i am not gonna try and beg for the war to end it will end with when it will end and when they're tired of doing something or when they commit to attack a structure and then we can do something about it but right now i'm just our strategy is uh, keeping our minor uh, non-deckable and uh, Hopefully they'll get tired of it because we will make the war cost them more than what they're earning from it. So they'll try and get another uh, another structure, uh, another target that is uh, that makes them more money than us. So that's it for this week, guys. So see you all. See you all uh, next week. Uh, have a great week. Have fun. Enjoy Eve and party on. Bye bye.